Oh, my God. Yes, very disgusting. Hey, Nene, what's up? Jerry A., how are you? <clears throat> Guys, I have the exclusive Melton John nudes. Melton John nudes. Check these out. Check these out. Um, Abby sent these to me. Uh, she's trying to seek revenge on Melton John as we speak. Melton John is being exposed right now, guys. These were sent to me by Abby. Abby. Um, these are full-on uh, Melton John nudes that are about to be exposed. Here we go. Here's one of them. Hold on, let me get some more. Here's another one. And here's another one. And here's another one. And here's another one. Oh, my God. He's very disgusting. So is um, <clears throat> so is Craig. Guys, I, I had someone uh, hunt down Craig out in Florida. And supposedly, <laughs> supposedly he actually has WLM on his bumper. WLM on his bumper. What a loser. What a fucking loser. I would never do that. Again, I would never do that, Craig. No one cares about your stupid old channel that no longer exists. Your dumb old channel that doesn't no longer exist. Now his channel is called um, uh, Spooky uh, Motel Person or something like that. Spooky Motel Ghost. Guys, if you're not if you're not subbed up to Craig's new channel, the Spooky Motel Ghost, please sub up to Spooky Motel Ghost. That's right. And Carolyn B. You, you disgusting, uh, you disgusting creature. Um, I hope that uh, a specter comes in your room tonight and strangles you to death, Carolyn B. All right, Carolyn B. You are a filthy pig. Um, you will be taken care of very soon. I think that um, <clears throat> knowing that uh, I am full into um, Ouija boards, etc. I even pulled out my own tooth. Carolyn B. And I'm going to use it in a uh, seance so that a evil spirit comes out and strangles you to death in your sleep tonight, along with that color gentleman that you uh, live with. I can't wait. What is this all about? Hmm. 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 Let's see. Let's get some more Melton John nudes. Oh. Guys, and I am doing this to take away views from uh, John Camillo. John Camillo is uh, done. He's done. Let's see if I can upload some. Uh... No, I can't. Here's the. Um... Here's the police report I just filled out on John Camillo and, and uh, Lolly and Melton John. They're going down. Uh, as you know, John Camillo right now has another restraining order against them. So now he'll have two. Um, Lolly will have three. Uh, and Melton John will have five. Five restraining orders. Going live over John Camillo, taking all his views. Do 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 do. La ba 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 ba. Boop, 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 boop. Do, 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 do. Got all the receipts on John Camillo. Wow, 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 wow. Mm -mm 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 -mm. mm -mm 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 -mm. Let's see if I got any more receipts on John Camillo. Let's see if I get some more out of this. John Camillo is... That one. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Let me tell you 
why I'm talking like this is because on Green Mongo's chat, if you go back, Mark Perry Berry, who I've done nothing to, and I've only known him for maybe like six weeks. Guys, the reality of it is <clears throat> that John Camillo is behind the scenes, just like everybody else, trying to close drama, trying to get people on his side. If you guys only knew what John Camillo says about Lolly, says about Melton John, Abby, uh, Mr. T, um, everybody that's been over there, you guys would be like, why is he doing this? You want to know why? Because Melton John and Camillo, they are both bodder. Joey's World Tour, son. Listen, I'm telling you right now, um, the the um, the photo that I got of Melton John's penis that John Camillo has, by the way, that Anderson Henderson has, that Seasons has, all because of Abby Brooke, um, it's very small. It's very small. He buzzes everything. There's no hair there. Um, it's a very tiny penis. In fact, I got very scared when I first received it, and I called Abby. I said, why are you sending me pictures of uh, underage boys? She goes, oh, no, that's not an underage boy. It's, that's Melton John. That's Melton John, Dave. And I said, I said, prove it. She sent me two photos, two photos, and there were, the guy was wearing the same thing. So it was definitely Melton John. Hey, Jasmine, how are you? We're doing this live stream to ex exclusively, exclusively take views from John Camillo. Uh, marshmallowy biceps, that's true. Um, listen, John Camillo has a small arm, guys. He has one small arm due to neuropathy. John Camillo is missing half of his arm. I don't know. Tell, guys, tell him to show you his right arm. Tell him to show you. I bet you he won't. I bet you he won't. Miss Chest Day, that's right. Worst clickbait title ever. That's right, Jennifer Marie. We're just here to take uh, views away from John Camillo. John Camillo. We are taking away views from John Camillo. That's right. Here, let's, let's get that Melton John nude back up. Let's get that Melton John nude back up. You guys ready? Ba-boom! Ba-boom! Was that too fast for you guys? You guys want it again? You guys want to see it again? Would you guys want to see the Melton John uh, new it again, guys? Please check it out. Whoa. Whoa. Again? Whoa. Exposed. Totally exposed. And Carolyn B., you can go fuck yourself, Carolyn B. I hope you die of, um, of ghost cancer. I hope a ghost uh, spreads cancer in your body or uh, ghost AIDS. I hope you get ghost AIDS. Let's see. Uh, you doing okay? We had a tornado like two blocks. Uh, Jennifer Marie, how many fucking tornadoes have you gone through since I've known you? Like four or five? And you live there? <sighs> Some people don't have any choice. They live next to wildfires, tornadoes, and hill and hillbillies and blacks. I have a choice. I've chosen to live next to none of them. And I pay a little bit more in my taxes so that I don't have to pay. I don't have to live next door to people like Melton John, John Camillo, Lolly Cunningham, all trash. And uh, that, that woman, Carolyn, uh, Carolyn B., the, uh, the woman with ghost AIDS. Uh, she was infected with ghost AIDS back in the, uh, back in the uh, mid 80s, um, actually by Patrick Swayze's ghost from the movie Ghost. I don't know if you guys remember that. I think that was, no, that was the late 80s. Yeah, uh, Carolyn B. has been uh, talking to ghosts her entire life, 
and everybody thinks it's okay. It's not. It's not. People who talk to ghosts are um, probably talking to demons or themselves. Um, get a life, people. Get a life. Stop, stop trying to contact the dead. There are plenty of live people on planet Earth that you can talk to. You no, no, you, no, no, you no longer need to contact the dead to have a conversation with someone. In fact, every single time I've talked to this woman, it, it, it has been the most boring conversation ever. And I'm going to be honest with you, Carolyn B. If I was dead, I would not want to have a conversation with you. You are the last person that I would ever want to talk to. Um, you're not a good conversationalist. You're actually very, very boring. And that's why you only get 20 views a live stream. Uh, Carolyn B, part of the uh, paranormal community, what a loser. Uh, ghost AIDS infected since the late 80s, the late 80s, when you were fully aware of AIDS, fully aware. You can't say that, you know, people back in the early 80s, they were like, well, AIDS? Well, I didn't hear about that yet. What's that? Carolyn B knew full well that she can contract the AIDS virus, and she got it from the ghost of uh, Patrick Swayze in the movie Ghost. The, uh, Pat the Patrick Swayze movie Ghost was loosely based on Carolyn B's story, except in the movie, instead of falling in love, uh, she contracts AIDS from ghosts. She's a terrible woman. Fuck you, Carolyn B. Looking at Melton's nudes, a diet plan that actually works. There you go. I would rather on occasional, uh, occasional hurricane than a blizzard and rude northern people. Okay. You know, guys, I don't know if you know this, but Jennifer Marie uh, sends me these pictures. She's like, oh my God, a hurricane came through. There's, there's fucking trees on houses. Trees on houses. Um, the roads are closed off. Um, her, her, you know, people's houses are, are blown away. And she'd rather live there because they don't have blizzards. Excellent choice, Jennifer Marie. Uh, you're obviously retarded. Um, anyway, guys, again, Carolyn B. has AIDS. She has ghost AIDS. She was given AIDS by the Patrick Swayze ghost and ghost in real life. And the movie Ghost was actually um, loosely based on Carolyn B.'s life where she contracts AIDS uh, during the scene where uh, Demi Moore and Patrick Swayze are um, cr creating uh, um, uh, planters or some kind of uh, pot or bowl with clay. Um, they left that part out because it was less romantic. And the Whoopi Goldberg character was actually the guy who was in her kitchen demanding that she go in the bathroom and blow that guy. I don't know if you guys heard that, by the way. I don't know if you guys heard that. So Carolyn B. not only talks to the dead, but she also is a prostitute, a big time prostitute. I don't know if you guys knew this. Um, the African-American gentleman, when she was on John Camillo's live stream, was saying, get in that bathroom, baby. Get in that bathroom and take care of that guy. Carolyn B., you are a straight up hooker. You are a, uh, a straight up loser. Thank you very much. Let's see. No, you left out the rude northern people. I'd rather hurricanes over those. Okay. Great choice, uh, Jennifer Marie. Great choice. You know, I don't know about you, uh, Jennifer, but, you know, when it snows, it's beautiful. It comes down really nice and slow. You know, the snow piles up. The kids go out and play in it. How many kids do you know go out and play after a hurricane? Jennifer. Or tornadoes. How many kids in your neighborhood go out and, and go sleigh riding down a fallen tree? Jennifer. Great choice, Jennifer. That's so dumb. Anyone who lives in that area of the country is a complete idiot. Complete idiot. I know I can understand if you were born there, but um, again, your parents were retarded for ever raising you in that part of the world. That's like, that's like you see these poor Indian people that don't, you don't even know how to take a shit properly in a toilet bowl. They're standing on top of the toilet bowl trying to take a shit. That's just like you, uh, Jennifer Marie, not knowing any better. You come up north and you're like, you're like, Rhodes? What is this? What is this black stuff that I'm driving on? 
our roads aren't aren't covered in dirt and gravel, Jennifer Marie. We have we have a thing called asphalt pavement. You should try it. You guys should. It would it would really people would really like it out there. Trust me. Oh God! Oh, gnarly Sheen, how are you? The teens go out and play after hurricanes. <laughs> Yeah, let's go have a tornado party outside, guys. Let's go have a tornado party outside. They, we don't have power for about a week or a month, but it'll be okay because there's a lot of critters to chase down and kill. Um, that's what these that's what these children do, these teens. You obviously don't know Southern people. No, I don't want to know any of them. They're obviously all racist and inbred. We we were outside during Katrina watching trees snapping. And sheds flying. Oh, yeah, I bet, Jennifer Marie. Good choice. Again, you're probably holding your brand new, uh, your newborn baby while uh, pieces of shed are ripping past your fucking baby's head. I'm like, look at that, Cletus. Look at that, Cletus. Oh, my God. I bet you do. I bet you do, Jennifer Marie. That's because you are from dirt people. Dirt people like dirt things, and dirt roads are one of your favorite. One of your favorite, I guarantee you. I, I, you know, there's no such thing as a car wash in, in the South. You want to know why? Because their roads are covered in dirt. Why even bother? They just wait until it rains, until a, until a tornado uh, picks up their car and moves it a couple blocks over. That's a good way to get the dirt off their car. They're disgusting people. You heard of hurricane party? No, no. You want to know why? Because we don't have hurricanes. Well, we have hurricanes, but they're not they're not as vicious or terrible like yours. And I hope you guys are enjoying every, every hour, every second of that hurricane that's ripping through your towns right now. And that's what you get for living in Louisiana. Louisiana. Who the fuck wants to live in Louisiana? Think about it. Imagine if you didn't know anything about the about the United States, right? And they said you want to live in New York or New Jersey or Louisiana. Where where do you think where, where do you think they're going to move to, uh, uh, Jennifer? Do you think they're going to move to Louisiana? Or Alabama? When they can move to New York or New Jersey or New England? I don't think so, Jennifer. Oh, <laughs> right. sorry, Jennifer Marie. If that if that's actually true, I'm I'm kidding. I'm sorry. Um, I took the toilet seat off my commode and replaced it with two of those naked foot diamond plate. Uh, accelerator pedals. <laughs> yes, guys. Yes, the mods that they do on their cars are amazing. Are amazing. Anyway, guys, what's what's the uh, what's the view count over at Camillo's now? We took all his views. What's the view count, guys? Carolyn B, the uh, the the ghost queen, also has ghost aids. Ghost aids. She got it from watching, or she got it from having sex with a ghost in the movie Ghost, uh, based loosely on her life and her relationship with Patrick Swayze, the ghost. Yeah. Well, let's see. Nope. Oh. I gotta smoke some more. I'm gonna take a nice hit off this. It's Frankenstein. Uh, oh. oh, yeah. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Uh, let's see. 
New Orleans. All right, listen. Would you rather live in New York, New Jersey, or New Orleans? Please. Expose him. I already did, Carlos. You want to see the picture again? Well, let me go get it. I want to put it. Carlos, I just exposed this fucking guy. Who wants to see some more Melton John news, guys? Ready? Ready? Exposed! Exposed! Oh my god! Oh my god! What's up, guys? What do you think about that? Expose him. He was exposed. You want some more, Carlos? Carlos, you want some more? Elton John nude? Oh! Oh. Read text. No, I'm not reading anything. I'd rather live in New Dumpster. Speaking of New Dumpster. Speaking of New Dumpster. There you go. There you go. All right, I guess I gotta put my phone on uh, Do Not Disturb, guys. I'll be right back. All right. <coughs> nice try, Botter. But I know you're in cahoots with John Camillo, Melton John, and Lolly. You guys wanna know who, who Botter is? You wanna know who Botter is? Melton John, John Camillo, and Lolly. There you go. Now, is it starting to make sense, guys? Is it starting to make sense? Uh, <laughs> oh, you want some more, Carlos? Hold on. Let me get some more. Hold on. Ready? Boom! Oh, Carlos. I got to do it fast, Carlos. I can't leave it up there forever. So, because uh, Melton John might strike this channel. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. He is disgusting. <laughs> let me get some. Let me get another hit. Oh, oh, would you guys like to see some more nudes, some more Melton John nudes? Oh, oh, oh my God. Did you guys see that one? That was tremendous, guys. That was absolutely disgusting. Let me go, let me go drink some beer. I got my creamsicle beer from Defiant. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, wow. That's some really good creamsicle beer. None of you guys have ever had creamsicle beer, but it's actually delicious. It's so delicious. Oh, wow. I just had... I had a big salad, some pasta vazool, and a um, mangoes and cream uh, from haagen -Dazs. Now I'm about to hit the hay. You guys want to see it again? You guys want to see it again? Oh! Oh! Oh, guys. This night has, this, this live stream has been all about, all about taking views from Camillo. And we took away all of them. Anyway, guys, I'm going to go to sleep. I'll, uh, I'll talk to you later. Right? Well, let's go to get all these pictures. This is all this is all fan art, by the way. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs>
Um, I take pictures of my penis on my phone. Uh, I've sent them to Pete multiple times. Pete has like a dozen and a half pictures of my penis. Um, she's very impressed by all of them. Um, all of them that I've ever sent her. She doesn't, she doesn't understand how my penis is that big and I'm not in pornos. That's the truth. What are you guys crying about over there? Yeah. Anyway, I, I gotta get going, dude. I gotta, I gotta go to sleep. For real. I don't even know what time it is. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna watch some Forge and Fire, uh, Forge and Fire episodes. You guys ever watch Forge and Fire? That show on, um, History Channel? Where they, uh, bring a bunch of, uh, they bring a bunch of fucking, um, uh, blacksmiths in to make knives and they only give them like an hour to do it and then once they win there's like there's like two finalists and then they get sent home to their home forges where they they get a chance to they get, I think they get like two days or three days to create a uh a uh a ten thousand dollar sword or knife or or whatever very good show very good show and they test them at the end they cut animals in half they break shit Oh. All right, guys, I'm going to get going. Let me see. Buddy. Honey, come on over here, sugar buns.